Hello my friends, welcome to another Bible study time with holiness. I hope you're doing good. Oh, I can see that. I'm doing good too. Are you good at home? How's the day going? Have you eaten? First of all, have you read your Bible today? Have you read your Bible today? Uh, did mommy and daddy read the Bible for you today? For those of us that can't read. Okay, it's good to start a day with God. Yes, there's a song I used to sing at home. I'm going to hide God's word in my heart. Is the lamp unto my feet. I'm going to read God's word every day. Is the food my belly need. <laughs> I'm going to stand on the truth of the Bible. going to open my eyes and I'm going to memorize. Let's sing it together. I'm going to hide God's word in my heart. Is the lamp unto my feet. I'm going to read God's word every day. Is the food my belly need. I'm going to stand on the truth of the Bible. I'm going to open my eyes. I'm going to memorize. Let's do one more time. Sing along with me. I'm going to hide God's word in my heart. Is the lamp unto my feet. I'm going to read God's word every day. Is the food my belly need. I'm going to stand on the truth of the Bible. I'm going to open my eyes. I'm going to memorize. Yeah, you did it. It's good to start a day with God. Yes, it's good to start a day with God. So did you brush your teeth? Did you take your bath? Have you eaten? Did you go to school? Are you back? I don't know what time you are there. Are you back? Yes, I hope you are doing real good, my friends. I'm happy you are here to learn about God's word. Today we are going to talk about the forbidden fruit. Last time I told you God created Adam and Eve and he told them you can eat of everything in this garden. But don't eat of one fruit. Do not eat of one fruit. Now, my friends, have daddy or mommy or your elder ones or your uncles, aunties, anyone told you, your teachers in school, do not do this. Do not, the person did not tell you why. Do not do this, John, don't do this. Sometimes daddy will say this is bad. And sometimes because of our inquisitive mind, we want, oh, what is, why, what is there? Why shouldn't I do it? Now, did Adam and Eve obey God? Did they? We're going to find out today. Did they obey what God told them to do? Oh, let's find out. Let's go. So they were talking about the forbidden fruit. Remember, we're still doing our five minutes Bible stories. Yes, the forbidden fruit. God forbid them. Do not eat of these fruits. You can eat of every other fruit in this garden, but do not eat of these fruits. We're going to see. God told them, the day you eat it, what will happen to you? You will die. You will die. Do you want to die? No. Nobody's scared of that. I don't want to die. You don't want to lose any of your loved ones. And do you know what? I told you in the last um, Bible study we had that God loved Adam and Eve. He created them. He wanted someone to love, someone to be his friends, you know, and he now gave them an instruction. Did they follow the instruction? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Before we go, oh wait, let's do our memory verse. First Samuel 15, 22. Are you there? You can get your Bible. We're not doing all the verse. We're just doing a portion of it. First Samuel 15, 22. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 22. To obey is better than sacrifice. Can we say it together? To obey is better than sacrifice. And yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's turn to the song. To obey is better than sacrifice. 
guys. One more time, to obey is better than sacrifice. Where is it taken from? First Samuel 15, verse 22. Can we do one last time? Okay, are you there? Let's do it. To obey is better than sacrifice. First Samuel 15, 22. Good job. That's great. Okay, let's go to our Bible study today forbidden fruit the fruit on the forbidden tree looks delicious oh some will say look yummy yummy why not try it the snake said and who is this snake the devil he's always coming and telling you things in your you don't see him always telling you oh daddy said you shouldn't do this why not try it and see it shouldn't cost you anything. Just try it. Daddy said, don't go there. He's not here. He's not watching. Just go. See? Let's go on. Why not try? The snake asked. But God said we would die if told the snake. Look at what God told us. If we eat it, it's good. It's looking but If we eat it, we would die. The snake like, oh, Eve, don't listen to God. Oh, Eve, can't you see this fruit is really good? Look at the color. Look, 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 look at it. Look, oh, Eve, Eve, look at it, look at it. Eve, open your eyes and see. The snake whispered. Look at the snake. See, look at the snake. Can you see? Can you see the snake? Oh, it's right there. See, the snake whispers. Look at it. Oh, uh oh, -uh, Eve. Look at it. It's really good. Why not just try it? Just, just, just try it. Eve said, "Okay, it's really looking good. I really can't. Uh, it's really looking good. Let me, let me try it. Uh, should let me. Should I try this? Okay." Okay, let me try it. And she gave in. Oh. But what did God tell them? You can remember. Do not eat of that fruit. Why did the snake not go to another fruit that God told them to eat and tell them, Oh, Eve, look at this fruit. It's good. No, he went to the one God told them not to. So Eve picked some and ate it. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's good. And she went to give it to her husband, Adam, and shared it with Adam. <sighs> and they ate it. So what have they done? Can somebody tell me what they have done? They disobeyed. Good. They disobeyed God. They disobeyed. And you know what? God was sad. God was sad. God wasn't happy with them. It's just a simple instruction. You can eat any other thing. But do not, there's just only one. Do not eat of it. God was sad that they disobeyed him. Now, because of what they did, God had to tell them, Adam and Eve have to leave this beautiful garden I've made for you. Did they die? When they ate the fruit, their eyes opened. Their eyes were opened. They were now ashamed. Before they were, they were not ashamed. They were just, no. God created them and left them in the garden to be with the animals, to take care of the plant. But this time, after they ate the fruit, they went to hide behind the tree. When God came to like, Adam, how are you doing? They were ashamed. Oh God, oh God, see, I look like I'm naked. Oh, and I'm not wearing the clothes. Their eyes were not opened. And that is how death started. Before God did not create us to die. And that is how death started. So they lived to an age, they died. They lived to an age, they died. Because of what? Disobedience. Because of disobedience. It's no good to disobey. That is why 1 Samuel 15, 22 says to obey. First of all, obey. 
is better. Sometimes the, the, the devil will always try to bring his own idea to you. Don't listen. To obey is better than sacrifice. To obey is better than sacrifice. And if you proceed for that to hacking that the father of ramps, you don't need to bring things to please God. Just obey him and you'll be happy with you. God does not need anything from you. Just open the hands. And I'm the representative of God here are your parents. When daddy and mommy tells you to do something, do not argue with them or say, okay, if they go, I'll do my own. No, God won't be happy with you. Obey first. Obey first. Obey is better than sacrifice. Don't listen to those bad ideas that come into your head and tell you you can't do it. The way the snake came to Eve and told her, don't listen to God, Eve. This fruit is too good. And you see, because of that, they lost so many things. This beautiful place they were staying, they were, there was no death, no, no, no sickness before. No hurt, no pain. But because of that small disobedience, God had to tell them, Adam and Eve, you have to leave this garden. And that was how they left. And they started, the suffering started for them. We have to learn from these children. Children, we have to learn from this. To obey is better than sacrifice. And I tell you, it is really, really better there's no other way to do it, just to obey. But before we go today, we are going to pray. Pray and tell God, God, please, God, please, I'm sorry for sometimes being disobedient. Please forgive me. Help me to always obey. In Jesus' name, amen. You have prayed this prayer with me, please. Do not disobey again. It's very important. We, our memory verses to obey is better than sacrifice. So let's do according to what the Bible says. And I will see you next time. Love you. Bye.